Hey, it's me, Destin. So I feel like I owe you an apology for not making videos the last couple of weeks, but when I explain why, I hope you will accept my apology. So it started like this. I got something in the mail. Turns out it is the new Phantom camera. It's called a Miro M320S. So this is different. It's a lot smaller, it's more sensitive, it's better than what I've been shooting with in the past, and they're letting me try it out. There's only a few of these in the continent right now. So Miro is Spanish for I see. So it's kind of like, hey, I see something that I haven't seen before. So I thought that was a pretty cool name. I took this over 9,000 miles on eight different plane trips to meet all kinds of cool people all over the country to shoot video for you. So in a nutshell, the reason I haven't been showing you videos is because I've been shooting videos. So it started like this. I got on a plane and I went out west and I met a guy named Alan Saylor. Alan Saylor is the man when it comes to high-speed photography, but he doesn't know a lot about high-speed video. So Alan combined what he knew in his artistic style with what I know as a high-speed speed video guy and we made some really cool videos that'll be coming up soon after that in the desert a guy named Greg came out and met me to show me a device that he had built and we analyzed that and looked at all the math involved and how that thing worked that's gonna be cool as well after that I went out of my way a little bit and went and saw my buddies Joe and Buzz uh, Buzz bought me an ice cream sundae with USA drawn across it in chocolate syrup of course, we shot a bunch of cool video, and that was that. After that, I got back on a plane and went to the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Waterloo, Canada to a meeting called BrainSTEM. BrainSTEM, STEM meaning science, technology, engineering, and math. At BrainSTEM, I met some really cool people. I met Chris from Science Alert in Australia. I saw Michael from Vsauce again. I met Vihart, who makes math videos on YouTube. I saw Derek from Veritasium. We got to shoot some slinky footage together. I also saw Henry from Minute Physics in his office. He showed me how Minute Physics works. That was fun. He also plays the violin and the mandolin. I didn't know that, so we shot some really cool video of that. I was also able to do a demonstration of high-speed video using liquid nitrogen and fruit provided by the faculty of the Perimeter Institute. Um, they they use their liquid nitrogen for their superconductors, so I was able to use it for a less noble purpose, but it was pretty awesome. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then we could uh, run for several minutes. And I flew back to LA and I went to VidCon. VidCon is this big, huge meeting of a bunch of people from YouTube, basically. It was fun. I got to sit on a physics panel with Henry from Minute Physics and Derek of Veritasium. That was pretty cool. They got to ask them questions about like theoretical physics. You know, I answered all the really hard questions about snack cake design and stuff like that. I set up a high speed camera and I let people just walk up and experience high speed on their own. Uh, I didn't really officially get a booth, but I found an, a spare outlet and they tried to run me off once or twice, but I just kind of stuck to it. But it was fun. Destin, Hotel, LA. Gavin, slow -mo guy. Hello. So. You brought a high-speed camera to me. Pretty much, here, yeah. Which is awesome, because I don't have one at the moment. So, we've got to come up with stuff to do in this just regular hotel room. So I bought this shirt to wear to VidCon. I thought it'd be pretty good. I found it at a thrift store in Arizona. Anyway, it's a really adorable kitty cat, and I thought, hey, it's YouTube. They would love kitty cats. But the problem is, I chickened out. In hindsight, I made a foolish decision. I should have wore the kitten shirt. I've been compiling all this video, so that's why I haven't released a video. I'm preparing for the future. Speaking of prepare for the future, I put a link on the main channel page that you can directly donate to my kids' scholarship. I call it a micro scholarship. That's really why I shoot smarter every day is to raise money for my kids' college education. And I'm serious about that. Thank you to the five people that just happened to find the link and donate. Thank you very much. Oh, rubber band just popped. I'm going to leave you with this. I want to introduce you to a guy named Brady Heron. So he went to both BrainStem and VidCon and we became very close over the entire week. But the thing is, we became so close that we started picking on each other. You know, that kind of friend. So here's what I want to do. I want to introduce you, the viewing audience of Smarter Every Day, to Brady's videos, but I decided to make him earn it. So here's the deal. I set up a challenge using the Miro and Brady had to earn the right to have you link to his stuff and hopefully subscribe. This is kind of how that went down. <laughs> My business card is not as impressive as yours, Destin, yeah. but this is it. This is the world's smallest periodic table, which has been etched on a human hair. It's in this year's Guinness Book of Records. You can look it up. And of course, it's also in one of our videos on periodic videos. Uh, okay, so, so here's the deal. Um, Brady makes uh, a channel called Periodic Videos at the University of Nottingham. And if you watch Smarter Every Day, you probably have figured out by now, I'm pretty weak in chemistry. But this man and his team is probably the strongest channel in chemistry, and I think you should pretty much go check it out. But for now, before I give them a link, I'm going to make you earn it. I want to teach you... <laughs>
<laughs> I'm I'm singing for my supper, am I? Yes, you are. So I want you to set this mouse trap. So let's figure this out. Can I like you know how we were joking around saying I don't know how to set a mouse trap? Yeah. I actually don't know how to set a mouse trap. <laughs> so you just giving it to me and saying set it is kind of like, um, this is smarter every day, man. I've seen your videos. Your videos like teach the smartest things in the world, and here we're learning how to set a mouse trap. Just do I it. think you're lowering the tone. Put your thumb right here and don't move it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Is that done it? Oh! I have the high speed camera and we were gonna do the mouse trap, right? Yeah. I wanna see if you can trip that with your finger without getting hit. And what do I get in return for this? It, I'll provide a link to your periodic <laughs> table or periodic <laughs> videos. Deal? And and like, alright. Oh well, alright. You're, I have a lot of respect for your viewers, and if a few of them come to periodic videos, I think it's worth a broken finger. <laughs> you won't break a finger if you're fast enough. <laughs> Trigger? Yeah. Oh. Is that the pen bending? 12.161. Okay, if you can get out of the way in uh, about 90 milliseconds, you're good. Man, I can't even think that fast. <laughs> Alright, you, you want me to do it? Yeah, go. Um, Alright. <laughs> that was like a, that was a practice golf swing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it! Yeah! Way to go! Alright. Alright, All so, right. Brady has successfully earned your trust, so if you want to go see periodic videos and a really, uh, a, a really adrenaline pumped Brady, then, uh, click on the link here and, uh, go check out his videos. He actually has a lot of, uh, channels, so if you can calm down enough to tell me what you got. You uh, got uh, periodic videos for chemistry, 60 symbols for physics, I and mean, I've just displayed some physics skills there. And there's deep sky videos for people that like astronomy, like Destin, there's some good space stuff. And number files are a really good one for some numbery math stuff as well. They're all at the University of Nottingham for the most part, but he does things like go to Everest. I mean, it's really top notch stuff. So go check it out. Uh, I'm Destin, you're getting smarter every day. Uh, Brady's getting what? more manly every day. <laughs> Have a good one. Later. Yeah, stupider every day. <laughs>